Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Faraz Kurban Rajpar, and in this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about the wolf kirchner reduction. wolf kirchner reduction is one of the important organic chemistry reactions in which aldehyde and ketone, that are the carbonyl containing compound, are converted into the alkane. Alkane, we know that these are the simple aliphatic organic compound. So basically, in this aldehyde and ketone are reacted with the hydrazine, and after that, this molecule will be converted into the hydrazone and in the next step that hydrazone will be reacted with the type of any base like the potassium hydroxide that will cause the reduction of the carbon containing bond and ultimately the oxidation of that hydrazine occur and nitrogen will be released as a gas and ultimately our desired product that is the alkane will be formed so for the wolf kirchner reduction the solvent required is usually the high heating or high boiling solvent that is the ethylene glycol which provides the high temperature that is basically one of the most important requirement for our wolf kirchner reduction and uh, that is required uh, for its reduction and ultimately the nitrogen is also produced as a part of this reaction so what we have observed that aldehyde and ketone are going to be reacted with hydrazine and they will convert it into the intermediate product that is the hydrazone molecule and in the next step the base that is the potassium hydroxide and heat will convert our hydrazone molecule into the alkane so this is the general reaction mechanism for the wolf kirchner reduction so this is the general chemical structure or what we say the formula for the aldehyde or ketone this is the carbonyl bond over here it can be both R or alkyl group that is in case of the ketone and in case of aldehyde we will have one hydrogen and other will be the alkyl so what is happening this molecule will be reacted with the hydrazine hydrazine is that molecule which contain the nitrogen nitrogen bond NH2 NH2 bond so ultimately what is happening over here you may observe the water molecule will be released over from here one oxygen and the two hydrogen of this and uh, then a bond double bond will be formed between the carbon and this nitrogen atom so after that we will get this hydrazone molecule and water molecule will be released from where this water is coming the mm, two proton are hydrogen from this NH2 and one oxygen of this carbonyl in the next step this hydrazone will be reacted in the presence of the best that is the potassium hydroxide so this will ultimately cause the reduction of this carbon nitrogen double bond and it will get converted into the alkane and also this nitrogen nitrogen triple bond formation will take place and nitrogen gas will be released as a byproduct of this chemical reaction so this is the general single step representation of this reaction that this aldehyde or ketone is going to be reacted with this hydrazine molecule in the presence of potassium hydroxide and the high heating solvent that is the ethylene glycol and what we have get in the product that is the alkane so now let's observe the reaction mechanism for the wolf kirchner reduction that part are the different steps and how the chemical changes occur in the aldehyde or ketone molecule so let's discuss the different step first step is the formation of hydrazone so basically in this aldehyde or ketone are reacted with the hydrazine and once they are reacted with the hydrazine they are get converted into the hydrazone so this is the a formula for the aldehyde or ketone they are reacted with the hydrazine and in this step the carbon oxygen bond of the carbonyl is broken and the carbon nitrogen double bond will be formed and water will be released as the byproduct so in this way the aldehyde and ketone are get converted into the hydrazone so next step that will be the step number two will be the deprotonation of nitrogen which nitrogen deprotonation of the nitrogen of this hydrazone molecule so let's observe that the terminal nitrogen atom of this hydrazone which contain the two proton or what we say the two hydrogen one of the nitrogen oh sorry one of the proton or hydrogen will be released and that's why deprotonation occur
and it will form that bond that is broken it will form the double bond of the neighboring nitrogen atom and the proton that is going to be released it will react with or combine itself with the hydroxide ion hydroxide ion is basically coming from the basic environment that is present in the reaction vessel and it will get converted into the water so let's check out the reaction mechanism this is our hydrazone molecule in hydrazone we have the two proton at the terminal nitrogen this is the terminal nitrogen and now what is happening uh, this proton from the hydrazone molecule will combine itself with the hydroxide ion of our base that is the potassium hydroxide and this will be released as a water molecule and now this bond will be shifted to this position and it will form the double bond between the nitrogen and nitrogen so in this way we will have the hydrazone ka hydrazone and nine formation at this you may observe that it is one proton is one of its proton or hydrogen is deprotonated in this step so let's check out the next step that is the step number three will be the protonation of carbo uh, protonation of carbon because in this reaction the carbon nitrogen double bond is also broken how this is broken this bond is broken and uh, the electron is going to be shifted at this and that's why it has the negative charge that is what we say the carb anion so you may observe in the next step will be the protonation of carbon because the carbon negative charge is one of the in instability of the molecule so the oxygen will be the more electron withdrawing than the carbon so that's why the carbon is protonated by the water molecule as shown in the reaction mechanism so this is the negative charge and uh, you may observe that oxygen has uh, we know that has the lone pair of electrons so that's why this uh, bond breaking will take place and this bond or electron are going to be shifted towards the oxygen molecule and this carbon will gain the proton from this because it needs the proton this carbon is the proton deficient because it has the extra electron so this will convert it into the intermediate product like this and this is the carbon carbon this is the bond and it is one of the proton that is coming from the water clear and now let's check out the next step again will be the deprotonation of nitrogen deprotonation of which nitrogen that will be the deprotonation of the terminal nitrogen and once again the second deprotonation step will take place ultimately the triple bond will be formed between the two nitrogen atom and uh, it will get converted into the nitrogen molecule and uh, in the same step again the carbon ion formation will take place so you may observe that uh, this is the step uh, over here again this terminal proton from the nitrogen will be taken by the hydroxide ion of the base molecule so this will release as the water and once this bond will be broken between the proton and nitrogen so this bond will be shifted to this and now the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond will be formed and it will be released as the nitrogen gas so now we will have the this carbon ion formation and this carbon ion we have we may observe that it is the extra lone pair of electron that's why it has the negative charge in order to neutralize it, this negative charge or make to stable it need a proton molecule clear so ultimately the fifth step will be the protonation of carbon this step will be the similar to the step number three of the wolf kishner reduction mechanism because in this again the carbon has the extra lone pair of electron that's why it has the uh, negative charge uh, what we say this is the carb anion so it needs a proton that is coming from the water molecule so this carb anion will be protonated by the water and in this way it will get converted into the alkane molecule so ultimately it will uh, resulted in the desired hydrocarbon product the desired hydrocarbon or alkane product will be depend on the type of 
our aldehyde or ketone molecule that is being used in the Wolff-Kishner reduction. As we have used a simple acetone or what we say the acetaldehyde molecule, so that why it is going to convert it into the ethane molecule. So this is the aldehyde or ketone is get converted into the alkane. So let's observe that which one is the red determining step. Red determining step is this basically the slowest step of the reaction. The red determining step is the step in which the a bond formation of the terminal carbon with the hydrogen is taking place. That is basically in the hydrazone N9 step. So that carbon hydrogen bond formation is basically it can be affected by the various type of functional group like some are the a strong electron withdrawing group some are the mild electron withdrawing group so for suppose if the highly electron withdrawing substituent are present they will have the negative effect on this rate determining step because they are going to decrease the negative charge of the terminal nitrogen and once its negative charge is going to be more reduced then the a, it will cause the difficulty in the breaking of nitrogen and hydrogen bond so the substituent must be low electron withdrawing or middly electron withdrawing substituent so this is all about the wolf kishner reduction so we have observed that wolf kishner reduction is one of the important organic chemistry reduction yeah, organic chemistry reaction in which the carbonyl compound which one that is the aldehyde or ketone are reacted with the hydrazine molecule and they will ultimately convert it into the alkane or the simple aliphatic compound so again the type of alkane form will depend upon the type of aldehyde or ketone that is used basically this type of reaction require the high, high boiling solvent and the base that is the potassium hydroxide high boiling solvent that is used in the reaction is the ethylene glycol after that we have observed the different steps that are involved in the reaction mechanism of the wolf kishner like first step was the formation of the hydrazone second was the deprotonation of the terminal nitrogen of hydrogen third is the protonation of carbon because in the second step carbonine was formed that is being protonated by the water molecule in the step number three. Fourth step was the deprotonation of terminal nitrogen. That will again result in the formation of carbonine. So the important thing is to note that in, in this type of reaction that in which step carbonine formation is going to take place. We have observed the two different steps like step number three and again step number four resulted in the step number two and step number four resulted in the formation of carbonine so again in the step number five protonation of carbonine take place and they will ultimately convert it into the alkane so this was all about the wolf kishner reduction and uh, now mm, you may check the description section for the quiz